Hello, good morning everybody and welcome to the webinar. What is Flex? So great to see so many of you on the webinar. There's a lot of names on the webinar that I recognise, so uh, hello and welcome again. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're uh, of course recording this webinar which will be uploaded to our YouTube channel, so if you miss anything or want to re-watch re anything, it will shortly be available on our YouTube channel. Uh, please follow us on YouTube, please subscribe to our LinkedIn and, uh, and, and follow us on all the social media channels. So, uh, so welcome. Of course, we're using Zoom today like we normally do. So there is a Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. If you have any questions at all as we go through the presentation, uh, please use the Q&A box. We're going to try and either answer them live as we go through or, uh, or maybe offline afterwards if they're a bit more complicated. But welcome. My name is Simon Brand. I'm the sales manager here at Man and Machine, and I'm really excited to bring you uh, this, this webinar today on what is Autodesk Flex. Now, there's been uh, a lot of change with Autodesk licensing over the last uh, five years and, and, and more recently as well. And Autodesk Flex gives us an opportunity, perhaps, to investigate a new approach to licensing. So really exciting that, you, that you're joining us today and uh, I want to take you through what Autodesk Flex is and how it uh, might be able to offer you and your users some cost savings going forward. So thank you. So first of all, before we begin, I just wanted to explain to you from an Autodesk perspective how the licensing works. So a lot of you that are, that are used to Autodesk licensing have gone on a journey over the last few years from perpetual licenses, you know, uh, buy and own licenses and, and pay your, your, your annual uh, upgrade fee. To a, to a subscription basis where you subscribe on a, on a one year or a three year term uh, based upon your users. Now that is still valid and it will continue to be uh, the core of our users um, for, for people that are using the software all day every day. And of course we have the option of subscribing to individual products or of course the collection of products. Of course, Autodesk have also now moved away from having uh, two license types. So previously we had a floating license, a network license, or, or how they term it now, a multi-user license, which is, can be shared amongst multiple users, more towards just having single user access. So you have 10 users and they all need access to a, to a product design collection or an AEC collection. You buy 10 uh, subscriptions and assign those products to them. And that's, I'm sure, how most of you are using your software today. And of course, what Autodesk are doing right now and continue to do is the promotion of doing two for one. So if you're currently using multi-user licenses, uh, when your renewal comes around, you have the option of switching those two licenses, uh, those every multi-user license to two single user licenses for the same price. And that's the program that they're working on currently and will continue to for the next, uh, well, until um, January 24, so in the next uh, year or so. Of course, some of you, uh, that hasn't been appropriate because some of you have, you, you're using multi-user licenses and maybe you're sharing them around, around three, four, five, ten users. And of course, moving two for one is not necessarily uh, a great uh, option for you. Maybe you've got occasional users that only need to dip in and out of the software once in a blue moon or, or you know, once or twice a week or something like that. And this is where Flex really gives us an opportunity to offer cost savings. And nothing pleases me more than, than helping you, our customers, to, to not give Autodesk too much money, more money than you need to. So Flex is aimed at your occasional users, aimed at the guys that are using software once or twice a week, no more, no less. And I'm going to explain there's a little bit of a tipping point where it becomes more or less uh, appropriate or more or less uh, uh, cost effective. So how does it work? So essentially what you do as an organization is you buy a number of tokens. So you and there are bundles of tokens that you can buy. Now tokens only last for 12 months. So it's important not to overestimate your usage requirements. And we've got some tools that hopefully are going to help you to, to be able to work that out for yourselves. Once you've bought your tokens, you then assign them in your Autodesk account to your various users. And those various users then 
can access the software that they need to on a, on a, on a, a daily basis. Now it's a 24 hour period, so the if they open the software on a Monday morning at nine o'clock, they've got until uh, Mon uh, Tuesday morning at nine o'clock to use that software for that same token usage. Of course, the user is always told how many tokens they're using and how many tokens that, you know, if it's going to tick onto the next day and use more tokens. And you as the contract manager, you have the option uh, to track the user spending. So how many tokens are they using? And at what point will it become more cost effective to look at a, an annual or a three year subscription for that user? So that's very important for me to be able to uh, to track your usage going forward and make sure you're you're not spending too much money. Now tokens are sold in bundles, so you either buy 500, 1,000, 5,000, up to 50,000 tokens. Uh, of course, as you would expect, the more tokens you buy, the bigger the bundle you buy, uh, the cheaper they are per token. Uh, but it's important that you that you uh, try and estimate your token usage and not over spec it because they do expire after 12 months and any tokens that you haven't used will, will, will disappear. So it's important that you maybe start on the lower end and, and, and move up. Of course, if they expire or if you use them all, you can just buy some more. So that's kind of how the token pricing works and pretty affordable from a you know 500 tokens for, for you know, less than 1200 pounds, I think is pretty, uh, pretty affordable. And the way that the software works, you, um, the number of tokens you use per day is displayed on the screen. So different products have different token values per day. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, different, token, a lot of different products you can use. Now it's done on individual products. So AutoCAD you can see is, is seven tokens for that 24 hour period. Uh, Inventors eight tokens and, and Revit's 10 are the most common ones. But if your user specifically needs alias concept to use 18 tokens in that day, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty, uh, pretty affordable. Uh, so that's how the tokens work and, uh, and, and the products. Now, of course, you'll notice that there are no collections included in the token usage. Uh, of course, if you're, user, if you're used to using um, an, a, P, a product design collection, maybe your users are using Inventor and AutoCAD. Of course, that would mean 15 credits for that day for those two products. So worth thinking about at an individual level, the products that your users need to access on a daily basis. Autodesk have also committed that there are going to be adding more products to the token uh, usage. Uh, so we're not clear yet about which products are going to be added and when they're going to be added. But certainly we know in the next couple of weeks there's going to be more products added uh, and conti will continue to be added uh, going forward. So if the product that you need is not necessarily on this list today, then just watch this space. Please follow our social media because I'm sure that we'll be uh, promoting them as they start adding new products to this list. Now we've created a couple of uh, useful tools that I'm happy to, to share with you and I'll put my contact details on the screen shortly if you're interested in having these, these calculators. What, I've, what we've tried to do is to um, share with you a, a little bit of a, a calculator to help you estimate your usage requirements. Now I've got two here and you'll see that just at the tabs at the bottom of the screen, I've either got the general flex calculator or one by user if you've got multiple users. Now the way they work, I just wanted to explain this, I'll just make it slightly bigger, is in the general flex calculator, you can just come in here and say, well, I've got, uh, I need to use AutoCAD. And of course it's calculated that that's seven tokens per day. Uh, I have maybe two users that need to access it uh, four days per month. Now it's calculated that over a year that I need to use 672 tokens. Of course, there's no bundle of 672. I would have to buy a bundle of 1,000 for your 2,350 pounds. Of course, there is a tipping point. So if let's say we went to uh, three, you can see that that's 504. So again, my calculator is still saying I need to buy 1,000. Reality, you'd probably buy 500 and when it gets towards the end of the year, buy another 500. But if I said two days per month, of course, there's my 500. Of course, I can still come in here and say, well, actually, I also need to use um, Inventor and I've got uh, five users that need to access that software uh, four days per month. Now, it's auto calculated that in total, I need 2,256 tokens. So I would need to buy a bundle of 5,000 at the cost of 11,450 pounds.
That's a very simplistic calculator just based upon uh, individual products and calculating how many users I've got and how many days per month they are using that tool. What I've also done is I've created, um, and I'm again happy to share this with you, a, a, a more comprehensive, slightly more comprehensive uh, list uh, calculator for you to use by user, where you can simply come in here and say, well, I've got uh, John, uh, let's just put John in here, and I've got Fred, and I've got Barry, there's my three users. Now, John needs to use, um, let's say he needs to use AutoCAD, and he needs to use that five days per month. Now, I have the option here, whether I select, I want to pay for that by tokens, or whether I pay for it via annual subscription. And what it will do, you'll notice here, is it's calculating my annual subscription cost. Now, slightly simplistic, because I, this is based upon a new purchase rather than a renewal, and renewals, as you know, are, are slightly cheaper than, the, the, than buying a new license, but uh, it, it gives you a rough idea. The other thing that's not included in this calculator is uh, collections. Uh, this is just based upon comparing individual products as whether it's worth uh, using tokens or, or subscriptions. So let's say that Fred perhaps needs to use uh, Revit and maybe Barry needs to use Inventor. Sorry, Simon, your, um, your calculation is just behind your webcam shot. Oh, yeah, sorry, I moved my head. Sorry. <laughs> yes, so, uh, sorry, everybody, I'm just uh, standing in completely the wrong place. So you can see there that I've, uh, it's calculated annual subscription and to token usage to give you a, a calculator. Let me stand there, that might be slightly better. So let's say that Fred needs to use uh, Revit three days per month and uh, Barry needs to use Inventor four days per month. And then... I can then use the calculator to either say, well, if I'm going to buy annual subscriptions, these are the products that I would need to buy. The total price for those three users would be £6,200. But actually, maybe I might want to go to tokens for that guy. Oh, I've dropped the price down to 4900 Great. Uh, I might want to switch to tokens on that chat. Mm, slightly more expensive and let's see what happens if I put to no well, that's too expensive so let's go to subscription on that guy and maybe subscription on that guy perfect uh, uh, tokens on that guy that's the cheapest way to do it um, so you know it, it's a pretty simplistic calculator uh, but hopefully it gives you the ability to uh, to to try and get a feeling for your users um, I think this gives us a great opportunity when you as you're approaching your next renewal date to talk to your Man and Machine account manager. All of our team here are pretty experienced and understand uh, the differences between tokens and subscriptions and collections and they'll be able to work with you on an individual basis on your users and your individual user requirements to try and work out the most cost-effective way to move forward. So there's always six ways to skin a cat with Autodesk, as probably most of you uh, you know, and being able to uh, to find the cheapest way, most cost-effective way is, is, is key to, to, to our success and, and your success. So please, we're happy to share this with you after the, the, the session. Um, I've got my uh, contact details on the screen here. If any of you would like a copy of this calculator, uh, it's uh, more than happy to share it with you so you can at least um, uh, play around with with the numbers yourself and try and work out yourselves uh, which option might be best for you but again I would encourage you to to talk to your man and machine account manager to really get an understanding of your users and your individual requirements to make sure you're paying as little money as possible. We have a couple of questions if we may Simon in the live chat I'll just read them out for you to save you having to open them up. Okay. Um, the first one is from Catherine. Good afternoon, Catherine, who is asking, is 500 tokens the minimum? Yes, absolutely. Um, unfortunately, 500 is the minimum. that they, you, you can't buy one token, unfortunately. You have to buy a bundle of 500 for the £11,075. That's the minimum you can buy, yes. Perfect. Thank you, Simon. Um, and another question in from Alex. Good morning, Alex. Um, you noted the current two-for-one license swap is running for a bit. Do we anticipate multi-user licenses being phased out for tokens? Well, we, we, we know that Autodesk want to move away from multi-user licenses altogether. They want to move to a single-user uh, subscription, uh, annual or three-year term, and then tokens being available for your occasional users. 
what they're doing currently. You you have until uh, this is the last year. Well, I think it's February next year uh, to renew your existing multi-user licenses. Next year, you will have to take the two-for-one offer on your multi-user licenses. It's a great opportunity if you are still using, you've been resisting the two-for-one because it's been around for a couple of years. Uh, it's a great opportunity to look at your users and to figure out those multi-user licenses that you have. You may have maybe five users that are accessing that software. Now, maybe you've got two of those users that are, that are using it three, four, five days a week, and maybe you've got three that are using it once in a blue moon. Great opportunity to analyze your users and maybe take the two for one for those two higher users and then take a bundle of tokens for the, the lower value users. I think it's a, a perfect opportunity for a lot of you to try and save some money moving forward. But yes, multi-user licenses will, will, will end. Um, last point to renew them is this year. Last point to take the two for one is next year. So by the end of 2020, for you, will, you no longer have multi-user licenses available to you at all. Great, thank you, Simon. And we have one more um, from David. Um, two more, another one just popped up. <laughs> Keep those questions coming. Uh, another one from David. Morning, David. How quickly does it take for tokens to be assigned? Well, the tokens are, you know, it's just like you normally purchase a bundle of tokens. Within 24, 48 hours, they are assigned to you as the contract manager in your Autodesk account. They will appear just like your products do at the moment, listed in the, uh, the, the, the um, uh, page within your Autodesk account. And then like you do now with your users, being able to assign the products to the users is exactly the same as tokens. Now, the other thing to mention is that as the contract manager, you have control how many uh, tokens you want to give each user, but you also have the ability of, of controlling whether that user can access certain bits of software. So you might want to say in Autodesk account, hey, John can only use Inventor and, and AutoCAD, and he's got 100 credits. When they expire, I can then uh, go and give him some more or give him access. Or you might want to leave it up to the user. So maybe there's users that don't know they might want to use a bit of that and a bit of that. And, you know, actually then they, they have access to everything, but they have a set number of tokens. And when they expire, they, they come to you and you can assign them more. Contract managers need to be in control of their, 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 their tokens and their usage. Perfect. Thanks again, Simon. Um, I think that pretty much answers the next two questions that we okay. have from both Scott and Richard. Thank you for those, Scott. But yes, you can control those tokens centrally. Um, and yes, they can be split between different users and yep. different products. Yep. Um, the only other question that we have in the list was regarding the potential facility, this is from Daniel, um, to gather usage statistics on existing deployments to assess the current usage patterns. Mm -hmm. um, I think what we'll do is we'll take that question offline because yeah. we've got some things got some that we tools. can go back yeah. to Daniel with. Yeah, we have some tools that we can help you to to look at your usage requirements. It's uh, it's not a standard thing. So, we, but we have at Mana Machine. We have some tools to be able to to help you analyze your usage to work out the best way forward. I think um, overall, uh, thank you for your questions. I think there's a few more that we'll take offline. But overall, I think uh, Flex gives us an opportunity to perhaps help you to to look at your user requirements to help you to. Uh, save as much money as you possibly can, but please work with us. There was a, a, a customer that we're working with, in fact, I think he's actually on the list today, and we were talking about Flex, and it transpired that his users, they were occasional users, but they were using it five minutes every single day. And of course, in that situation, because it's done on a 24 hour period, it really wouldn't work in terms of Flex. You'd still have to you know, be, be, be using tokens every single day. So. Definitely worth considering, but I think the, the couple of opportunities are if you've got users that are only accessing AutoCAD, you know, once a week or once a month, perfect opportunity for, for to save some money there. Also, if perhaps you are a, a manufacturer, you're using the product design collection, but maybe once in a blue moon you need to use Revit. You know, in the old days you would have to subscribe to Revit. Well. Flex gives us a perfect opportunity to, to allow you your users to access other bits of software without necessarily having to subscribe to a, to a product for a whole year. So I think there are some, some real opportunities for you, your users, to be more productive and a, a cost saving for you, the customers. That's questions. We've already covered a lot of questions. Any more come in, Ellie? No, you're perfect. Good. 
Well, I said this wasn't going to be a very long webinar, and hopefully it's giving you a bit of an overview about what Flex is. I'd encourage you all to talk to our, your Man & Machine account manager. And like I said, please follow us on, on YouTube. Please follow us on, on, on LinkedIn. And please you know, go and subscribe to us on all our, all our uh, social channels. Thank you for your time. I'm going to end with a with a marketing inf uh, video from, uh, from from Autodesk themselves. It's a little bit American, but at least it gives you a bit of an idea. But thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again soon for our next webinar. Flex is a new pay-as-you-go option to match your team's needs. Just buy tokens, and your occasional users will get access to our top products included with Flex. Here's how you can get started. Step one. Buy tokens for your occasional users online or from your partner. Tokens are available for purchase in pre-specified amounts. Every product has a unique daily rate, so check the rate sheet so you can choose the amount that fits your needs. Tokens last one year from purchase and do not roll over, so you can just buy more whenever you need them. Step two, assign your users. With Flex, there's no need for individual product assignments you can assign an unlimited number of users to all products included with Flex, or pick and choose which products they get. Step three, make it easy for your assigned users to access products whenever they need. All they need to do is open the product they need and the corresponding daily rate will be deducted from your token balance. You will be charged a daily rate until your user closes the product. Step four, analyze your token usage. We provide tools such as token usage reporting to give you better visibility. See how often each product is getting used so you can monitor your spending. We'll notify you if your tokens are running low so you can buy more and maintain access. Visit autodesk.com flex for more information.